Yep, very good. In that same election, Pete, who did the Constitu uh, Constitutional Union Party nominate for president? John Bell, very good. Okay, you know the Democratic Party split in that election, right? They, they had two different candidates. So Hunter, tell me which side of that Democratic Party in the election of 1860 sided with popular sovereignty concerning slavery? Um, North did, very good. Northern Democrats, yeah. Very good. Okay, Elise, tell me something. <coughs> you might have to back up. Tell me something the Talmadge Amendment proposed. How about the Talmadge Amendment? What did it propose? Tell me, tell me something it proposed. Talmadge proposed. What did it propose? No, 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 that was, that, that was Dred Scott. The Talmadge Amendment to Missouri's application for statehood. It stated a couple things. Tell me one thing it stated. Well, not really. That, they couldn't, just, they, they were trying to get up a compromise because Missouri has caused some controversy. So James Talmadge came up with an amendment and he proposed two things. Tell me what they were. If, 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 if Missouri was going to come in as a slave state, what two things did he propose? Anybody have that? Go, go ahead, Caitlin. Give me one. Any child-born in slavery in Missouri at the age of one That's correct. Also had something else. Anybody have that one? Yeah, the Tom, yeah, the Tom Edge Amendment proposed the following. That Missouri would come in as a slave state, but they would outlaw the further introduction of slaves into Missouri. In other words, only the ones that were there could be slaves. You couldn't bring any more in. And any child that was born into slavery into the state of Missouri would be freed on their 25th birthday. Did it mean that Maine would be admitted into the Union as a free state? Was that part of his amendment? That wasn't part of his amendment. That was part of what the Senate agreed to later. So don't get too confused on that. Okay. 1848 election. Who would the Democratic Party nominate for president? Ready? In 1848. Who was the Democratic candidate for president in 1848? Is that right? Yeah. Okay, who was the Whig Party nominee in 1848, Maddie? Zachary Taylor. Who was the Free Soil Party candidate in 1848, Ivan? Martin Van Buren. Martin Van Buren is right. Okay, look at the Compromise of 1850, Tristan. And tell me one of the, quote, compromises of the Compromise of 1850. And make California a free state? Okay. And California would be admitted into the Union as a free state. That's right. How about another one there? Um, um, they would give, $10 million to Texas so that they would pay out the land of, like, the Mexico. That's exactly right. They would give... $10 million of Texas, they had to abandon all their claims to the territory of New Mexico. Very good. How about another one, Josh? Uh, they organized land acquired from Mexico. By what? Um, popular economy. Yeah, they would organize the land, except for California, because they admitted them in. And they would base the slave or free status on popular sovereignty. Very good. How about another one, Dave? Um, abolish the buying and selling of slaves in D.C. You're not, not abolish slavery itself. Right, so it didn't abolish slavery itself. It abolished the selling and Purchase. purchasing in the nation's capital. Okay, anything else? One more thing. Siobhan? Enacted the more effective fugitive slave law. That's exactly right. Enacted the more uh, effective fugitive slave law. Exactly right. Okay. Olivia, 
Who assumed the presidency after the death of President Taylor? Which became, yeah, which was? This vice president, just a low will be one of the choices. To we'll look for a name. So don't be so full of yourself if you tell me the name. <laughs> Any more full of yourself if you try to be so more full of yourself. What Millard Fillmore? Millard Fillmore, which is an interesting name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, who sponsored the Kansas Nebraska Act, Kasia? Uh, who sponsored that act? Stephen Douglas? Yes, he did. That girl. Give me an example, if you would, please. Dalton, an exa example of violence in the territory of Kansas that led to the term bleeding Kansas. There's one. How about another one? Lauren, give me another example of violence in the territory of Kansas that led to the term bleeding in Kansas. What's that? Well, what do you do? That's exactly right. Would this be a true statement? An example of violence in the territory of Kansas would be fighting over slavery in the territory? Yeah. yeah. Sure would. Okay. All right. How many men and women were killed in that fighting over slavery in the territory of Kansas? 200. Very good. Only my dear. Oh, man. Who was the first state to secede from the Union? What was the first state, excuse me, to secede from the Union? government of the Confederate States of America established? Temporary government. What was established? Temporary government of the Confederate States of America was established at? That's exactly right. Montgomery, Alabama. Okay, I'm giving this to you, Matt, because you were kicking butt. Give me the four southern states that did not leave the Union during the initial secession process. Arkansas, Tennessee, North Carolina and Virginia. Virginia, Tennessee, North Carolina, and Arkansas. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me one thing, Morgan, that President Lincoln made very clear in his inaugural address. That's exactly right. That secession from the Union was illegal. Give me another one, Kellyanna, my dear. Um, that you would not allow any more federal arsenals or like federal property. That's right. Federal property in the South would be held by the federal government and protected. Mention anything about slavery? No. Keep that in mind for later. Tell me, Mr. Rasmussen, what was a good, sturdy male slave worth during the slave trade in New Orleans? Thousand dollars. How about a female, Maddie? Eight hundred dollars, and how about children? What were they worth, Delaney? Five hundred. Five hundred. Okay. What could a runaway slave that was caught expect, Siobhan? Um, their ears cut off. And or. Yeah, okay. yeah. There you go. Any of those three, you could expect to have their ears cut off, their Achilles tendon slashed. They could even be branded or a combination of all three. Who's Rosa Parks? And what does she have to do with this lecture? J.C. Page. Rosa Parks, and what does she have to do with this lecture? Um, she sat in front of a bus and then was asked to move by a white person and she didn't do it, so she was arrested. What's it have to do with this lecture? Um, because there was 
flavored? No. Whole, but you have a valid a, a definition. We'll save that for next year. Yeah, but what? But why did I even mention her? What's that? What's what's she got to do with now? I mean, why would I talk about something in the 1960s when we're talking about this? Because she was part of the movement into. Well, that was afterwards. I don't know. <laughs> Go ahead, Garza. <laughs> She was born on the same day that Harriet Tubman died. She was born the huh? same month. Same month. Very good. She was ironically born the same month that Harriet Tubman, who was part of this time period, died. Okay, very good. Nice job. <laughs> Ivan? Oh, man. Give me the federal arsenal at Harper's Ferry. What did it look like at the time of its assault? Federal. Yeah, tell me what was in the federal arsenal at Harper's Ferry that John Brown was so not interested in. Uh, there were $7 million worth of, uh, worth, a lot of money worth of cannons for guns. Cannons? Right. Okay, so what, yeah, you've got part of it. What was in there was worth seven million in today's money, but what was in there? Twenty thousand rifles, muskets, uh, pistols, um, rifles, pistols, rifles, pistols, rifles, 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 so it wasn't 20,000 each, it was a 20,000 combo, right? Okay, just keep that in mind. Okay, John Brown's followers at Harper's Ferry included how many of his own sons? Five. There you go, kiddos. 30 multiple choice questions. That's it? What's that? Three points apiece, 90. Bill, they'll give you that tomorrow. So meet out at the uh, Commons out there with your notebooks because she'll give you a little time to study. So don't forget your notebook. I don't want you to waste any time when you could be studying.